Some residents of southeast Georgia are just now getting back to their homes. Others have not been able to return. The Sydney Lanier Bridge remains closed. Channel 4's Bakari Savage rode out the storm in Glynn County and is joining us live with an update. Bakari? Mm -hmm. So, Tom, we had to wait for hours to get over to St. Simons Island, along with other people who just wanted to get home. But apparently there was a bit of a miscommunication between the county and the state. thought we had a, uh, a plan negotiated with the state. Mm -hmm. And so we announced to go ahead and um, open up the mainland. Unfortunately, um, our, our colleagues at the state didn't understand exactly what the plan was supposed to be. And, and so we, we vacated our guys and they didn't vacate theirs. And so a little miscommunication. And that led to lots of waiting. A traffic jam, to be exact, at a stoplight that was out, but had power restored while we waited. But lots of people were left waiting in anticipation of the first look of the damage from Hurricane Matthew on St. Simons Island. Lots of debris, fallen trees, fallen power lines some flooding, but not as much as Commissioner Dale Provenzano and others who called the island home had expected. Homes were seemingly spared in this storm, and that's a sight for Provenzano's eyes. Honestly, I left our um, executive management command post on my way home thinking that that was the last time I'd ever see my house. And a lot of them were anxiously waiting to get back home, but couldn't cross the causeway just yet. There was a lot of confusion as to who could enter Brunswick and the surrounding islands and when. Brunswick has reopened for those who evacuated. The islands have not, but we got our first look during a tour with the sheriff. Much to everyone's relief, the damage wasn't as bad as expected. Lots of debris, fallen trees, but not much damage to homes. Although the homes look okay on the outside, Emergency Management Agency Director Jay Wiggins says they're keeping people away just a little longer for a reason. I, I can tell you, I, I'm still in fear for my community. I, I, want, I don't want anybody to get hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, we're try, what we're doing by opening the community up is... Uh, <sighs> We're bringing people home into a situation that they need to be very cognizant of. Mm -hmm. They need to be aware that it is not a safe environment. So here's what Wiggins means by that. You still have 34,000 people without power. That's first. And then second, you still have some roads that are blocked by downed trees. So it's a matter of safety. Reporting live in Glenn County, I'm Bakari Savage, Channel 4, The Local Station.